going on guys? Brandon Rust. I'm going to show you guys how I am making a biological fertilizer out of green waste from hemp or cannabis. So the first thing I do is I mulch up the material. <laughs> I bought this off of um, Amazon. I think it was like 175 bucks. You come over here, you come check out the material. You can see it's mulched up pretty fine. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to fill up this five gallon bucket. And it'll fit about 12 pounds of material. I've already done the uh, measurements prior to the, the video um, when I've made this before. You just fill that all the way up like so. It's okay to pack it in pretty tight. And you want to fill it all the way up. Uh, after you have all of your, uh, your bucket filled up with the material, you go ahead and fill it all the way up with water. It's approximately uh, two and a half gallons of water. And this will actually make uh, all of the minerals and nutrients bioavailable. And it will also uh, create lots of different amino acids and enzymes that will help increase the microbiology in the soil so it's kind of a two for one you get the biology um, plus you get the minerals and nutrients you get amino acids you get enzymes you get uh, plant hormones you get uh, different types of you know oxen cytokinin gibberellic acid all that stuff is all contained within this material and then the next step is you're going to use a thousand milliliters of molasses I'm just going to go ahead and dump that in there. And last but not least, uh, a liter, a thousand milliliters of Microbe Plus from my company, Bokashi Earthworks. These are the microbes, the consortium that will um, ferment this and break this down into its basic components. I'm just going to get in here. kind of messy. I recommend doing this outdoors. I feel like that's good. And then one of the things that you want to make sure that you do is you want to make sure that you have one of these uh, screw-on lids and you want to make sure that your seal is intact because you want to make sure that there's no oxygen in this in this mix because these are loop anaerobes they need low or no oxygen conditions to uh, break this material down and ferment it properly so I'm just gonna go ahead and screw this lid on right here you want to screw it on really really tight make sure that you get a firm seal and it's okay if it, some spills over it's gonna happen um, this is gonna expand as it ferments, so you're going to want to uh, you're going to want to crack open the seal uh, maybe once a day, and then you just leave this for 20 days. It'll be completely broken down, and then you can extract the liquid out of here and use it at a rate of 1,000 to one. So there is how you make uh, bio biological nutrients um, out of cannabis or uh, hemp green waste.